A major fire here in Nashville is now out, but not before destroying parts of an historic home. Cuthbert Langley has been out there all morning for us with firefighters, and it took them quite a while really to get this house under control. Amy, it did. It took more than an hour for firefighters to finally get this fire under control. They said this is a home that was built in the early 1900s, so the age of the home made it very difficult to fight. And just look at the significant damage on this home. We're right here, right near 45th Avenue and Nevada Avenue. You can see straight through the roof there. It shows you a significant portion of that is collapsed. And as we come down on the porch right now, you can see the fire investigator there on the porch picking up things there, whatever debris is left. When I spoke with the district fire chief earlier this morning, he says that his crews reported seeing electrical wires sparking on the porch when they got here. So much of the investigation will focus on the porch this morning. Let's take a look at the video from earlier. This happened around 2.30. You can see those flames ripping through the roof there. This is why it's collapsed this morning. I mean, massive amounts of flames. It broke out early, as I said, around 2.30. And when firefighters got here, it did take them a significant amount of time to get the flames under control. Once they did, though, firefighters then had to start working to save several instruments that were inside of the home. This was a duplex and also had a recording studio there, too. There were several musicians living in the home, so you see them bringing out different electrical guitars, basses, mandolins. Thankfully, the majority of those instruments are okay. But again, since this was a home built in the 1900s, it has since been renovated into a duplex. So they had basically a duplex on the front part of this house behind me here and then one on the back. So since they had to work through all of those different renovations, that also is what made it tough to put the flames out. Several firefighters also had to be treated on the scene for exhaustion as well as being overheated. They thankfully are okay. At the time of the fire, there were four people inside they too were able to make it out, which just looking at this damage behind me is truly a lucky situation this morning. Again, the fire investigator is on the scene. We'll have much more on the exact cause of the fire later on this morning. For now, though, we're live here in Sylvan Park. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD.